Hello, I'm Paul Dajczyk, founder of Elastic Steel, method of athletic conditioning. Last time I talked about martial arts, core conditioning, and back pain. Okay? So I didn't say the leg swirls were dangerous, as some people might have thought. All I said that they could be dangerous if the abdominals are fatigued. Okay? So a quick point about that, if your back is flat and you move just your legs, you articulate only from your hips, your abdominal muscles, rectus abdominis and obliques are used to stabilize this, you're good. If you have flexible hip flexors, even better. If you see a student that opens up the back, obviously what you to do is to get the crunches to the leg lift. Okay? To have the abdominal stable. But at the same time, have your students here, have them move the legs down as much as they can. The second you feel or you see or they feel or they see that the back is coming up, have them stop and come back. Okay? Okay? And do that with knees bent. Even before you would start bring the legs lower and lower till you can bring them all the way to the floor and back without the arch. Okay? So that's about that. But today I'm gonna answer a question about how to combine the work of your pelvis and your hip flexors in preparation for the kicks. There are many different exercises and many different drills. And also I know that this question comes up often during seminars and even um, when people watch the videos and uh, read the book. Why not just practice the kicks? You can practice the kicks and kicks are going to get you better. But if you use a massage, if you use a flexibility exercise, if you use a specific strengthening exercise, it's safer and you're going to get the results faster. I'm not saying you shouldn't practice the kick. You should practice the kick, but you should prepare before you practice the kick. That's number one. And number two, after you practice your kick, you should perform certain exercises at the end of the session that will improve your kicks later on. As time goes by, and they're going to improve faster. Okay? So now to the exercise. Um, when you throw a kick, let's talk about the front kick, for example. Okay? The pelvis articulates, the hip joint either is fixed, but very often actually does the opposite movement. The tension is built and then the tension is released through the movement of your hip and then through the movement of your knee. Okay? And I'm talking about basic snap front kick. So, if you do that, first, before you can learn that you do a posterior pelvic tilt, and you extend the hip, you have to learn how to do a posterior pelvic tilt and actually not move the hip. Okay? There's a tendency to flex the hip as you do that, but ideally you would actually extend it, get the energy, prepare it, and then release it. Before you can do that, of course, you, I'm not even going to show you that today, I'm just going to show you an exercise which teaches you how to stabilize your hip uh, joint while you're moving the pelvis. Okay, that is the first thing. Once you can do that, you can begin to move the pelvis and actually move your hip joint in the opposite direction. Okay, build the energy and then release it. Okay, so the exercise is very simple. I'm going to lift one leg up to 90 degrees. Okay, if you don't have the flexibility to do that, you bend the knee a little bit. Okay, I prefer that you lift it to 90 degrees and most people can do this, okay? You don't have to pull it in more, okay? This is fine, 90 degrees. And you would extend the leg to here, or to here, or to here, or whatever flexibility allows you, okay? And from here, we're going to articulate the pelvis so the use of the core muscles, but we're not going to move the hip flexors, okay? Okay? So technically, you see my leg moving? It's not the hip joint. Okay, the same thing on the other side. Okay. So what's moving is my pelvis. I'm learning how to move my pelvis and fix my hip joint. My hip joint does not move. Okay, later on, I might show you some exercises which do the opposite of that, okay? The energy gets built up and the hip flexors for the release, not one muscle, it's a lot of different muscles. 
Okay. You get stronger. One leg comes up. So you do the same thing. Stabilize this position. 90 degrees in the upper leg. Straight line here. Okay. And it's a very small movement. But when you saw that kick, okay, this right here is enough to accelerate that kick. Okay, once again, you will learn how to move the pelvis and at the same time your hip joint will actually extend instead of flexing, building up the energy. But this is just a basic exercise for you to try. And once you get better at it, do not do it before you kick in the same session, do it after you practice your kick you will notice that your kicks again get better. It doesn't just depend on that, they depend on a lot of uh, different flexibility, stability, balance, and other things, but this is just one exercise for you to try. Thank you for watching. Good.